we begin? Well, first off, beautiful people it's january 12th today and i'm seeing matcha for the second time i take him home in 11 days ah, i'm so excited also the celsius is like really keeping me up on energy right now let's go see matcha Let's do some unboxings, shall we? There's a bunch of packages behind me and we're just gonna open it together and set everything up for matcha. To begin, I ordered a little dog tag, one of those engravable ones. It says matcha on this side. We've got a big bag of food. I accidentally opened this one already because I thought that it was my Celsius drinks. I ordered a bunch of Celsius drinks because your girl loves Celsius. And I thought it was that, but it actually was the dog food. Whenever I potty trained Leo and Lacey, which are my other dogs in Texas, we had this little bell that attaches to the door. It's like a long hanging bell. And when they need to go to the bathroom, they hit their head on the bell. Like they just like nudge it with their head. That signifies that they need to go to the bathroom. So I figured if it worked for Leo and Lacey, it should work for matcha. So I got a similar bell to that. Oh, there's actually three things in this box. CeraVe healing ointment. This is for me because I have super dry skin here. Next, we've got the potty bells. Comes in this green little bag. And then you just hang it on the door. Because he's so tiny right now, his neck is like this little. Order this baby black collar. Eventually he's gonna grow out of this, I think. Or actually, yeah, I need to put the tag onto here. Another package from Amazon. I ordered all this while I was in Texas, so I have no idea. Oh! Three bags of blue training dog treats. I hope that he's easy to train because Leo and Lacey were a pain in the butt when we tried to teach them how to sit. They took advantage of the treats, we'll just say that. Oh yeah, apparently salmon is supposed to be really good for dogs, that's what my mom read. His breath is gonna be disgusting. And then we have a little food container, perfect for dog food. The cap has a little dog funnel at the top, so you just pour the food into the cap, and it even has measurements. It locks it in. And this is perfect because matcha is so little, he's not gonna be needing these big, pebble food so it'll fit in here when you have a newborn dog you obviously want to keep it in like a little pen so i ordered one of those little fenced in pens it's not a big one because he's little but i did want to do it the right way this is a two-door folding dog crate so i can actually take it anywhere i need to gosh i feel like a mom right now this is this is a whole process. So I'm currently in the laundry room right now, and the way that my laundry room is set up, there are two holes. One of my laundry baskets is in the other one, and I'm thinking I'm gonna put the crate in this one. So let's see how to set this up. I'm literally sweating right now. So this side is all good. Now let's see this side. So I'm a planner. And before I even knew that I was getting matcha, I bought dog stuff. I think God knew that this dog was gonna be in my plans. So let's do a haul of everything that I already got from October all the way till now. Potty pads. I got two of these. There are two different brands though. This one kind of looks like the brand for feminine products. Like doesn't this font low key look like that? But yeah, there's 30 pads in this, 50 pads in this. Hopefully we don't have to get more and matcha is gonna be good. Ray harness, so, so adorable. And it's really, really little. Blue dog walker, it's got one of those retractable ones. My managers, Amy and Muth Vera sent me this for Christmas. This is a little dog leash. And then this is like a little potty bag holder. And then there's a little roll of 
poop bags <laughs> inside, but I'm so excited to use these. Then, of course, I had to get toys. Got this little squirrel toy, fox one, raccoon. This is a little lamb toy, more potty accessories. And then this is gonna be his toy bin. Okay, I'm gonna go to my bar workout, but I will see you guys later. We're gonna finish setting up the rest of Matcha's stuff. I'm so out of breath and I'm so sweaty. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Like five, what, are, what is that on the top shelf? Do you, no, on the top, yeah, on the top. This new brand uh, called Sunwink and they have like detox drinks. It's not alcohol, but it kind of looks like it could be. Hello, beautiful people. Good morning, it is a new day. I don't know how I have so much energy because could not tell you, but I just made some chlorophyll water and we are going to set up Matcha's Oasis. I did do some more shopping, but it's all things that are gonna be necessities and I ordered all that on Amazon. It's just like cleaning stuff, toothbrush, hair brushes for him. He's gonna be taken care of, don't you worry. Today, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna set up the little playpen area. I need to figure out how to put together the gate. Then we're gonna lay it out nice, put a little bed in it, add potty pads on the ground, and then I wanna put the food in the little food container that I showed earlier. I went to visit Matcha again for the third time and I'll insert a little clip of him playing with his sister. He has two siblings. He was only in a litter of three. He's the only boy. He's got a sister that looks exactly like him and then a sister who is full party, mostly white with a couple of spots. And he is definitely the cuddliest and the most calm out of the three of them, which is good because I love sweet and affectionate and calm dogs. But I also love when they can get a little rowdy. Okay, we're gonna start off with the dog food first. So this is the dog food. It's the brand Nulo and it's salmon flavored. Even better. Here is the little dog food container. I slept so well last night. Nothing is better than a good night's rest. Also, this literally smells so bad. It smells so foul. I hope this does not spill everywhere or else I'm gonna be really sad. That was... That was pretty good. Let's close this because it smells so bad. If you have any recommendations of where the best place to put dog's food is, please comment down below because I'm not, I am not the type of person that likes my trash can in my pantry or dog food. It just grosses me out if it's in the same room. So where should I put the dog food? Comment down below. Okay, next up I've got the big pen gate sort of deal. I think I decided I'm just gonna put it right over there. A lot of times when people get a dog, they have this little circle pen to start out with because the dog is so little and it kind of makes training a little bit easier. What in the world are these? Amazon Basics, talk to me. That is definitely not English. Some potty, oh, my <laughs> toy just squeaked. Okay, I'm gonna put some potty pads down right now. Oh, again. So I had this bed originally in my room and it will go in my room once he's all trained and stuff. But for now, I'm just gonna put it in here. I'm also gonna leave his food right here because whenever it's time to eat, I'll just pick him up and then bring him here. That way he gets used to knowing that that's where he's gonna eat. The toy basket though is gonna go in here as well. We will take this, put it right here, and then we'll give him some toys. I got this dog bed from Costco and it's actually been here since Thanksgiving. If you didn't know, there were clues and have been clues for months. Yesterday I went to my godparents' house. They live here very, very close to me and we watched three football games because it was Sunday and they made these lemon pepper wings 
with honey and chipotle and it literally was so good i had eight yesterday i'm gonna heat this up and let's eat wings today it is january 16th which means officially in a week from now matcha will be in my arms <laughs> and in my home and i just cannot wait for him to be mine online classes are no joke i don't know if it's just me but i hate learning online and i would much 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 rather prefer to learn in person however if you didn't know this when you're a freshman you get last pick of classes all the upperclassmen gets to choose the time the teacher all that stuff and all that was available for my macroeconomics class, my math 160, I think it's my ITM class, intro to marketing. Those were only online. So I'm literally teaching myself calculus right now in macroeconomics. And yeah, it's been a little bit of a struggle. Not what I was hoping for, but you know, I'm just gonna make the most out of the situation. If you've made it this far, you're probably wondering, okay, why the heck did you get a dog? Well, why don't we talk about it? Ooh, God bless America and God bless these wings. Where do we begin? Well, first off, <laughs> this has been something that I have been thinking about for the longest time. If you follow my Instagram or my spam, my username is not Caroline Manning. And basically, I think in the summer, I said something like, if I were to get a dog, what would I name it? Everybody said matcha or chai. And I think it's because one, I love matcha and I love chai, but also those names just fit me. I don't know if that makes any sense. I was thinking of doing like mochi, but then I realized, okay, no, that's like a cat name that would not fit for a dog. But matcha is so cute. And I always say cha-cha matcha. Like anytime I want matcha to drink, I'm always like, oh my gosh, let me go get a cha-cha matcha. So it just makes sense that I named him matcha. You might hate it. I don't blame you. Some people just don't like names. After meeting him, I was like, yeah, no, you're matcha. Mmm. So good. Probably should not have worn white right now. Everybody was telling me not to get a dog. Drew was telling me at first. My parents were like, absolutely not. Do not get a dog. But I, I need a companion. If I'm gonna live here and not have any roommates, I need a companion. I looked up dog breeders here in Boise. I already knew what breed I wanted, which was a Yorkie because I've got two Yorkies at home and I'm just definitely the type of girl who wants Yorkies. Also, they don't shed and they're hypoallergenic, so that's a big plus, but they're just the cutest little things ever and I'm obsessed with Leo and Lacey, which are my dogs in Texas, so I knew I was gonna be obsessed with whatever Yorkie I got here. I found a breeder that I really liked and I messaged her and I said, hi, can I meet you you know just because i obviously want to meet the person that i'm buying the dog from mm, sorry she was like of course you know so i met her and i love her she's the sweetest lady ever and she and i actually ended up getting really close and i go over to her house all the time she invited me over for chili with her friends and family and i'm literally going over there this Friday to help work on her website. If you're looking for a really good breeder, go to Sandy's Gorgeous Yorkies. She is a queen. I love her so much. This is no right being this good. So she told me the puppies were gonna be due in December, probably like end of December. Well, they actually ended up being born on December 5th and then December 9th is when I visited them. You saw that in the very first clip. And then I recently visited them when I got back. And so he was about a month old when I visited him. He's grown so, so much, like gotten so big. There were only three dogs in the litter and luckily there was a boy. He ended up being mine. And now my parents and Drew are so obsessed with him. Like they are just so excited. This dog is gonna be one lucky dog. I'm gonna finish these off camera because you really don't wanna see me eat. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. I decided to go out and do a little shopping, not only for myself, but also for matcha. I'm gonna hit up Urban Outfitters because it's been quite a while since I've gone. I also need to get one of those pet carriers so that whenever I take matcha on planes and to the vet, he can go inside the carrier. So yeah, we're just gonna have a little shopping day together. Let's hopefully not spend too much money. just finished shopping and I'm gonna do a quick little haul of what I got. I actually ran into three people in separate occasions and they all watched my videos so hi if I ran into you. Very nice to meet y'all. Okay so 
Here is what I got for Valentine's Day. I want to put together a little cute box to send out to Drew. So I'm going to fill it with goodies and the rest of the goodies, I'm going to make a whole separate video shop for it. But I went to Carhartt and I got him a pair of men's boxer briefs. Obviously, I'm going to get him like a crap ton of candy and all the good things Valentine's Day. But I also wanted to get him things that were going to be practical and useful. So that's why I got him this. And then I only got one other thing and it was for myself. And you will not believe how much it was two dollars and 49 cents for these pair of mittens and gloves urban outfitters had 50 percent off sale on top of what was already on sale and so that's why i got it for two dollars <laughs> like what <laughs> successful little shopping now i'm gonna go to pet smart and pick out a couple things for matcha and then i'm gonna head home and we'll call it a day no i literally just looked over and this guy was picking his nose digging for gold and he looked at me and made eye contact we just laughed like literally just laughed all i gotta say is don't pick your nose while driving guys because people can actually see i wish him the best i'm here at PetSmart. we are going to spoil the heck out of my dog okay so all this stuff is on sale right now and i'm thinking i should probably get some christmas how freaking cute is this I like the look of this one. This one has Sherpa in it though. This is the one that I'm gonna get him. Looks like this, and I like this tan color on it. Hi! <laughs> okay, how stinking cute is this? We don't need to talk about how much I spent on this little dog carrier because it actually pains me more than my clothes and my stuff. This is an investment because it's great for traveling. So whenever I travel with Matcha, I'll be traveling in style. Another day, another sleigh. We've got some packages at the door. Shout out, Amazon. First off, we've got a little groomer's brush. On this end, this is more of like a bristle side. And then this side is like just regular pins on a hairbrush. In this package, we've got a pet grooming comb. This gets all of those fine hairs. There's enzyme toothpaste for dogs and then the toothbrush that comes with it as well. It also comes with this finger brush. Last package, stain and odor eliminator, Burt's Bees oatmeal shampoo, and then some oatmeal conditioner. All the hygiene goods. I think I'm gonna dedicate one of these top cabinets just to matcha because I use it for all of my storage. So I've got obviously toilet paper up there. Some of his toys leashes and harnesses and stuff is in here but i want to dedicate one row we'll say one row toothpaste comb i don't think i've ever been this excited for something in my life just like that you have reached the end of today's video if you guys liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, don't do anything. Next video is going to be the first 48 hours with matcha. Get ready. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and join the man fam. And I'm so, so happy you're here. I love y'all so much. Have a great rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Ciao.